Alrighty. Well, first things first. I'm still set up, and this video's on how to set up your GTX Project Zomboid server with mods. So first things first, you want to come to the GTX Gaming website, log in with your client information. As soon as you open a server with them, you'll get your password and your information via email. So once we get here, you're going to want to go down and click on automatically log into game panel. Okay, it'll have your username and password details. Um, you should have those. Uh, get yourself logged in. Uh, it should look like this. This is the game panel. Uh, this is what you're going to need to look at in order to set your server up. So, the two pages you kind of need to set your server up is configuration files up here and file manager down here. So, first thing you want to do is go to configuration files. Okay, it's going to open up a window with um, these six items. All right, the ones you really want to pay attention to are these bottom four. Okay, um, specifically these two. All right, this top one is going to be all your information with your mods, your server name, password, all that jazz. This bottom one right here, this is going to be your settings for the server, like uh, zombie spawn times, loot, all that great stuff. Okay, so... Um, we're here to show you how to do the mods. That's the most confusing thing, apparently. So you want to go to text editor here. Okay. And you want to scroll down to line 20 right here is what it is. Okay. Um, as you can see, I already have my mods thrown in here. But it says mods equal. Okay. So all you want to do is put in the mod name right here with a semicolon so just to reference that you need to go to steam to the workshop right and you want to find out something that you you want to use now i'm going to go to my subscribed items uh we're just going to click on land rover defender 110 okay now you scroll down here towards the bottom and at the bottom of each page it shows something that looks like this, okay? You should have vehicle IDs, workshop ID, and mod ID. Okay, your workshop ID. Okay. Goes down here. With the workshop items. That's your workshop ID. Alright, you need both. For this. So again, workshop ID down there. And then up here, you want to put your mod ID, which would be this. Okay. And this is how it would look. So in order to get the item to work, you need both codes. You need to throw in the mod ID and the workshop ID. And then afterwards, you need to put semicolons. I don't think you need this space here, but I was doing it on my phone. And then I read that apparently you can do it without the space in between. So... Just, uh, you could literally just put it like this and leave that. But anyways, so you just throw the mods in like that. And then you want to go over here and click save. Okay. And then you want to exit. And if your server is running, all you want to do, right, is click stop and then restart. Now, the file manager. You want to come over here next. This is where you're going to see that your thing's working. Uh, where is it? The fucking underworld. Let's see here. World server. See, this is your four files uh, for your settings. Um, you can save these as well. You can right-click, click save. So that way, in the future, if there's any problems, you can just uh, refresh your server and then upload your saved configuration files. All right, that's pretty simple. Next is the workshop. Okay, it's not in there. I don't know where it is. Steam app workshop. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so Steam app workshop content. Um, and then right here, 
well, this is the numbers of the ID for the mod. So you see this? It says more traits. So what basically what this is getting at is the second you save and restart your server after you add in the mod IDs and the workshop IDs, it's going to automatically download all of these mods that you have put in. So you see the code right there for that, right? Let's let's go back over here to um, configuration files. All right, and just for reference, that was last four was eight two eight zero. And you're going to look at that, the Steam IDs right here. And right there, you can see it. Well, as far as 8280. So basically, the mod folders over here are all listed by workshop ID. Okay. But again, you need to make sure that you put in both the mod ID which will generally look more like an actual name, and then the workshop ID, which is going to be just um, numbers. Okay? And that should be it. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to comment. Um, throw me a question on even all these settings. I set this up via my phone at work the other day so my friends could play. Um, but again, thank you. Like, subscribe, and uh, if you want any more videos on this stuff, let me know. Other than that, have a great day. Take care of yourselves, and good luck out there.